Hey everyone, I'm Storm Shield Meteorologist Jason Myers. It is Thursday, May 22nd. Three years ago today, we saw the deadliest tornado of the 21st century. That was Joplin, Missouri. Check out the video right here. Just a little informative video we put together just uh, to tell you exactly what happened three years ago and exactly what the damage was. And let me tell you, it was nasty. Today, I don't think we're going to see a repeat of that. In fact, it looks like just a slight risk across parts of the country. Uh, one risk out west uh, from Texas up through eastern Colorado, the Tennessee Valley looking at uh, a slight risk, and then the mid-Atlantic states also seeing a slight risk. We'll uh, start out in the mid-Atlantic states. How's that sound? We're looking at just a slight risk here. It looks like these storms will really develop late in the evening and in the overnight hours. Hail is going to be the biggest threat, and then here's the wind risk, about a 15% risk for some strong winds as well. Back to the Tennessee Valley, looking at, uh, this is really where we're going to see the biggest hail risk right here, and again, a 30% risk of some of, those, some of that hail. Nashville, Knoxville, you're definitely at risk. Chattanooga, you're just outside of the really big bullseye, but still a good chance to see some decent sized hail. And in this area, we could see hail at or above two inches in diameter. So some really large hail, similar to what uh, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana were seeing yesterday. Winds are also going to be fairly strong. And uh, again, about the similar sized bullseye. These storms will once again develop in the late evening. Now the early afternoon is when we're going to see things popping up in parts of Texas, eastern New Mexico, and eastern Colorado. It looks like they'll initially develop right on the uh, New Mexico-Texas border and then travel northward. Hail is going to be the biggest threat here. It looks like about a 15% chance for hail just outside of Denver, um, and it looks like right along the border right there of New Mexico and Texas. Lubbock, Texas, Odessa, you guys could definitely see uh, some of that hail. Strong winds are also a possibility in that same general area. And while we're out uh, in the west, there's also a risk of uh, some an elevated fire risk today, just dry, low humidity conditions. And so, and we could see a few dry thunderstorms, and with those dry thunderstorms, lightning, and that could really strike up a fire. While we're out west, we saw tornadoes there yesterday. Tornado warning in Denver yesterday afternoon and evening moved pretty much to the east. In fact, in all, we had 12 tornado reports, but a lot of those uh, tornadoes were spotted in and around the Denver area. In fact, here's a look at one of those storms right now. You couldn't see a lot of the tornadoes because they were rain wrapped, but you could see that rotation within the storm. In the Midwest, saw a lot of hail and wind reports, Indiana and Illinois, Kentucky, and Ohio, especially right there in that Ohio Valley, saw a lot of hail and wind, some large hail as well. And they also saw the hail in Colorado. We also have some video of that in some heavy rain too. That was in Colorado, that was in, uh, that was in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and how appropriate these, that we saw all that rain since yesterday's severe weather risk kind of looked like a whale or a shark, so it's only appropriate that we saw enough water for uh, all, those, uh, all those sharks and all those whales because we did see quite a bit of flash flooding yesterday, and I hope everybody stayed safe. Today, keep Storm Shield handy on you. It looks like hail and wind, again, are going to be our biggest threats, as well as some heavy rain. Whenever we see that hail, we have a potential for some heavy rain, so it looks like uh, today that's what we're looking at, that elevated fire risk out in the southwest as well. Follow us on our social media pages, Twitter and Facebook. We'll see you next time. Stay safe in the meantime.